Now, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong says the pricing of water is a policy Singapore takes seriously as a way to manage demand for the scarce resource. Mr Lee was speaking at the first water conversation dialogue at the Singapore International Water Week. Hoi Ni has more. Throughout the dialogue, participants were interested in Singapore's success in diversifying its water supply. Prime Minister Lee said it all boiled down to political will. He said pricing signals are important too, and in the late 1990s, water rates tripled to reflect its economic value. I think one reason people accepted this was because at that time, regularly, uh, there were reminders from various quarters in neighbouring countries that if we were not compliant, they would threaten to turn our water off. <clears throat> and therefore, uh, Singaporeans could see this and could understand that this was a national security issue. By 2060, new water and desalinated water will make up 80% of Singapore's needs. The aim is to be self-sufficient by the time the water agreement with Malaysia expires in 2061. One participant estimated that Singapore could meet its target earlier, but Mr Lee maintained that even so, the agreement still stands. The water treaty is not just a matter of uh, self-sufficiency, it's an inviolate founding document of our Republic that absolutely cannot be changed and I think we have to stick by that until 2061. There are an estimated 1.8 billion people in Asia who do not have access to clean and safe water and many dialogue participants wanted to know if Singapore could do more to help. But Mr Lee said beyond technical assistance and joint investments, there's only so much the country can do. Now the bigger challenge is to convince these regional governments of the need to invest in change.